Welcome back guys, Slowbacon here, and welcome to today's multiplayer battle. No doubt you guys were expecting a Clan Angram or a Bloody Hands video today. Frankly, they both suck. They both suck so bad, <laughs> so bad. When I'm playing as Clan Angram, I played a lot of matches today um, as Clan Angram, and I tanked my rating absolutely astronomically. But as playing as these guys, 99% of people put vampire counts, and they just kill these off with magic, and there's nothing you can do about it, so you just lose. And playing as the Bloody Hands, if you're going to go with like a Savage Orc build, um... It's not very good. Um, there's just not enough power, not enough staying power there, so you kind of get destroyed as well. So I've been playing the Beastmen today. I've been trying out a couple of builds by... Um, what's her face? <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Ninja Hound. That's it. Thank you. All right, I've been trying out a couple of builds from him. So this is one. This is just a melee focus build. And this is a cavalry focus build. Pretty good. Uh, they're pretty good builds. Um, I actually played against... Uh, the Magnus earlier on today. I don't know if a lot of you guys know who he is, but he does quite a lot of uh, multiplayer videos. Uh, pretty small channel, like 350 subs or something like that. Um, and he absolutely destroyed me. He one-shot my Prey Shaman from the other side of the map with an overcharged, um, overcharged fireball. Yeah. Interesting to see if he puts that replay up on his channel, because he absolutely destroyed me. But before I want to do that, I just wanted to show you something. Go and get the vampire counts earlier. All right, let's take this off. The basic idea behind that build there is, of course, um, hold the melee line, throw everything at the lords, basically. And trying to kill this lord here was fucking next to impossible. I guess I could take all that off because you don't need that. Standard setup. So basically this guy's got really, really good regeneration, right? Regen there, regen there. Uh, regen there. Regen there. And regen from there. And if they come with a Mortis Engine, either version, this one or that one, doesn't matter which, um, the particular match he had, this one here, um, it's, you can't kill that Lord. You can't kill that Lord. Usually you just put the two um, Bray Shamans, not Bray Shamans, the two uh, Gore Balls onto a Lord, and that's enough to get rid of it, right? Because they're quite powerful. But in this match here, I, I just couldn't damage him. So I did a couple of tests earlier. Hopefully I can replicate it now. Just attack with these two. So if we just go and attack his lord, I'll just stick on fast forward so we get through it a bit quicker. Are they both going? You can wait, wait for the other guy. And we'll just see how not damaging these guys are when attacking this. Like, and some of you might be thinking, well that makes common sense, right? You can't bring down that lord, but if we just look at it. Pop the armor pen thing. Well, it's not working because he's actually split up off that. Ah, let's try that again. Ah, wait for it to finish. Usually, of course, you wouldn't get the Mortis Engine and the Lord at the same time. But even, like, even doing that, like we just did, it's still taken us over three minutes to kill them. We'll just do a quick rematch. Just do it on fast forward. I just want to show you what I'm trying to do is just attack these two with the Lord. See how long he lasts, which is a very, very long time. I already know that. And then attack these into this first and then onto the Lord. And, you know, just see what's quicker. Um, I was testing a bit earlier. Right. So if we can get over here. Let's go fast forward again. Right. I just want both of them to attack the Lord if I can, at least for the start. So I think once this drops below a certain morale, it um, drops right off, eh? Let's put that up. All right, make sure these guys stay on that. Stop picking your own target, please. Stay on that. But as you can see, like, his health is not even moving, right? And these are two pretty heavily um, damage-dealing lords. All right, there. They've attacked this thing now. All right, that goes down. Now watch how fast he'll go down. But like a lot of the um, a lot of the damage and stuff actually comes from or a lot of the healing and stuff actually comes from the Mortis Engine, which I mean it makes sense. It does. It is a like regenerating bloody thing. Both of you attack, please. Thanks. There we go. See, like as as soon as we were attacking him, we, we couldn't do any damage to him because his regen plus the regen from the mortis engine was enough to keep him pretty much topped off. As soon as that mortis engine goes down, he goes down so much easier. Anyway, I just wanted to share that something I was just testing earlier to see if it did work or whatever. Because yeah, and the match that I actually had is I just couldn't kill it. No way in hell I could kill that lord. Uh, it did have a mortis engine up, of course. 
and of course all the other stuff that's in the battle as well stopping your um, heroes and stuff from actually attacking right let's see mr riggs right out let's see here we go all right uh, people sit here for ages waiting for you to make up your mind which um race you're gonna play so you kind of have to go yeah i'm playing beast man <laughs> or else they just sit there for ages and they're like there we go so as soon as i click that they usually change to whatever they want to just play which is fine i understand so again th there's not i hear a lot of strategy with this setup um but one thing i really enjoy about the beastmen is generally the fights are really quick um when i was playing Cl uh, clan angram earlier i probably lost i don't know eight nine matches in a row something like that change over the dwarfs which is pretty much the same setup except for obviously you've got well, I was using Thorgrim, and then I won like six in a row. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Oh, I tried so many different builds to try and make it work. Yes, the Ethereal Lords are stupidly strong if there's no uh, magic damage on the field. As soon as you put magic damage on there, they drop so fast. Right, so basically all we want to do is make a front line with these guys. So damage dealers, right? And then on the, we want to make a back line with these. Now what we're doing here is, if they've got cavalry or something like that, we'll actually split these off and send them onto the cavalry. Because these are anti-large, plus they have decent charge defense. And all we do with our lords and our man, put them in there. Usually I just group us all at the start, just to get us rolling. Um, and then I'll split the groups up as we actually jump into the battle. So of course, with the Brave Shaman of Beasts, we've got a Flock of Doom, which does decent damage. And we can also summon in a Manticore. Manticore, yep. Which is pretty good. And we're starting with 19 uh, Winds of Magic, which is pretty awesome as well. So generally what I do is set these guys to attack, group these two together, um, and then let's stick those onto the Lord. And you really want to keep your Lord and your Giant like in the melee, um, keeping them going. Right, what are we up against? Two Giants. Oh, I came across this earlier. Doesn't look like having a cavalry. Right, so what we want to do here is actually put these guys onto the Giants. If we can. It's just spears. Where's the lord there? What is he? Orc war boss. Yeah. So we're going to go and go and attack that uh, boss with our two bray shamans. All right, get those guys up. Oh, not you. You can summon on a dude though. Okay. Yeah, they're not going to quite get around there in time, are they? Back off, bray shaman. You go there. Put him into this group as well. We just want to go straight for that lord. I want these guys onto the giants if they can get there. Pop some damage. Go, gobbles, run, please. We'll try and drop that lord as fast as we can. As you can see, he's going down pretty fast with those two uh, gobbles on top of him. As long as they don't push him outside of his fucking troops, which is exactly what's happening. Is he on foot or is he on a um, boar? He's on a boar. Damn, that means he'll get away. Okay, right, we'll change attack and get these guys onto the shaman if we can. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't get any of those these guys through. Right, buffs, and we can't quite do one of those yet. Right, he's back. Right, health potions, armor pen. Health potion, armor pen. Right, we might get him this time. My giant's going down, which isn't fantastic. His lord's going down, which obviously isn't fantastic for him either. We really need some more uh, winds of magic. Boys, get him down. Run through if we can. This is basically how you play this. <laughs> like I say, there's not a hell of a lot to it. If he's going to push straight through, we are going to change onto the giant. Actually, that guy's there. We'll go for him. Get that caster down.
put my lord over it to give us a hand on there. What did you break, you little bastard? You did too. I think we got stuck in that middle too much there. Alright. He'll come back. Can you get out? Yep, thank you. Right, put these guys against him. Alright, he's so used his healing potion. That's one thing. Right, that giant's almost down. Right, cool. Let's the cast it down. If we can drop this giant, we're still in with a chance. I oh, know, we need to get the um, Goblin Big Boss down. Because of that poison damage. Oh, flock of doom, finally. Get that giant down, please. Oh, Corbo went flying out. Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to win this one. Oh, I think we got absolutely crushed. Damn, 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 damn. Smashed, boys. Absolutely smashed. Those guys got smashed. I think I just think I got too surrounded there by them. Pickens, yeah, yeah. Pickens versus Corbo is not good for us. That would have actually been a perfect match. I'm going to play another one. That was actually going to be. That would have actually been a perfect match to show you the um, cavalry one because they had no cavalry, which is like the ideal situation for us. If the other person has cavalry, it's a lot harder for us to actually um, use our cavalry. Let's see what we're up against. Mr. Riggs again. Yeah, that's fine. Wonder if he's going to bring the same build. No, oh, he's going to bring vampire counts. Uh, okay. This is not the best build for vampire counts. If they bring uh, blood knights, they're a lot better than our cavalry, of course. So we kind of just need to keep them away from it, if we can. If we can. Hopefully he does bring that mortis engine um, lord combo, and then we can kind of see if we can actually make it work in a live situation. I don't want to have two losses either. <laughs> Not that I'm afraid to show you guys losses, but... For my own ego. Right, so this one's slightly different. So we make a line not like that. Get you boys over there. So I've got these ones here, and yes, I realise I haven't selected that one. Oh, piss off with that, would you? Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand why. Right, so that like that, and then we want to put one unit in behind. Just so we can kind of peel them off and put them onto uh, whatever we need to. Uh, Gorbel usually out here on the flanks. And a cavalry who does have um, Vanguard Diploma, which is of course lovely. There's nobody really to hide in this one though. I'll just put them over there. Alright, they can be three. And these guys are all one. Unfortunately with this we're probably going to have um, the flyers, which will actually stuff us up. How many troops have you got? 1597 fucking hell, that's a lot of troops. I'm guessing there's a lot of zombies in there. A lot of zombies and a lot of skeletons and a lot of regen, I'm guessing. I wouldn't expect too many flyers or cavalry with that sort of number. So these guys are very fast, armor piercing, and of course Vanguard deployment. If they were anti large, they would be so good. Right, what do we got? Yeah, well, there's a the mortis engine. Two Vargeist, two Ethereal Lords, yeah, and, and that's the Lord we were talking about as well. So it's pretty much ideal for us. Skeleton Warriors, Skeleton Warriors, Skeleton Warriors, Wizard, oh just Skeleton Warriors, okay. So I'll wait here because I'm going to get my Flock of Doom up, or my Manticore up, sorry. And then I want to get some Flock of Dooms, because we're going to be needing to do a heck of a lot of damage here. Hopefully he hasn't actually seen these yet. Surely he did, right? Surely he did. Right, so we do want to get on top of... What's that one? Oh, it's a wizard. Um, we do want to get on top of this Mortis Engine, if we can. It does actually slow us down quite a bit. Um, we might need... We're going to have to use the Manticore, these two, and maybe even the Lord on there. 
to try and drop it down quick. Yeah, we're just waiting for this to regen. That's why I'm not moving. These two big boys are an issue, of course. They regen a heck of a lot as well. We kind of need to just ignore the Lord. Like we're not going to actually be able to get him down. All right, can he? Does he even know I'm here? I don't know. Right, we're already up to six. We want at least one cast of it. Preferably two, of course. Right, I've got one at the moment. Get that up to like 12 or even 10. That should give us enough by the time we cast another one. Power regen. It's beautiful. It's probably exactly what we want. One every three seconds. Right, now we can probably go. I don't know if he's noticed my cavalry. This is going to go straight for that mortis engine. These boys are going to go straight for it as well. And I want to actually get this cast off Flock of Doom. And all that if I could. Now, Flock of Doom should be incoming. Yep. Cavalry in please. Everybody attack into that. The Theory Lords will be an issue for us. Can't count everything. Oh shit, did you guys not even go? Alright, now go please. Oh, we've got it down quite a bit to start off with. That's good, that's good. Keep on to it, boys, if we can. Alright, it is regening. Come on, boys, get it there. Do we have another flock of doom? Six seconds. Where is it? There. Flock of doom. On all that. Basically, if we don't get it down, we can't win. So we need to get it down. At least in my experience. Right, I'm going to pull off one of these. See if I can get some help out on one of these other flanks. Free up some of these other troops. It is going down, though. Right, another flock of doom, three seconds. Did he just recharge in the back there? He did too. What a bastard. Come on, bring it down. Almost 300 health. Right, I'll drop that on my lord. Get us some power regen. Right, that's down. Now Now we can try and kill this lord. I do say try. Uh, where was that buff? That one. These guys back in. Where is he? Yeah, he has his buffs and stuff on him. That's okay. Right. Um, armor pin, please. Thank you. Armor pin. We've lost our brave shaman. That's too much of an issue. Has he gone down at all, or should we switch target? He's not going down at all, is he? Can we get this man to... Uh, Vargeist, then. Please? Vargulf. One of them. Don't need to heal just yet. Oh, get onto that one then. Jesus Christ, kill something. Come back, you. Come back, you. Come back, you. Thank you. Right, get some buffs soon. Right, it's not really working, is it? I think we're going to have to go for that Lord again. See if we can get him down. Right, one second. Pop your potions. Pop everything we've got. See if we can get him down now. Where is he there? 
Oh, we took a little chunk of his health. <laughs> well, my whole earlier bloody experiment might not be true. Because he's not dropping very fast, is he? Alright, potion. Anti-break potion. Christ, he's not dropping at all. Alright, kill some of this other stuff then. Probably too indecisive in this one, I think. Alright, kill that off. Thank you. Alright, buffs. Melee damage, yep. Good, good. The gorble is stuck in there. Alright, that's one of the bastards down. Alright, attack something. Bring everything in. Attack something. Right, there's a lot of stuff in there breaking. Not mine. Well, my stuff's breaking, but this is breaking faster, I believe. I really don't want him to go down. If he goes down, we may be in a bit of trouble. Pokemon! Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, where's my lord? Ah, oh, did he die? No, he's broken. Okay. If he can get out and come back, we'll still be alright. Oh, no, we might not be alright. Come on, gobbles. Come on, everybody else. Rally, you bastards. How many did we get him down to? 430, <laughs> Jesus, we've killed like a thousand. There's still 400 left, oh my god. Right, can we kill that? No, because our morale's breaking. Oh, good lord. Oh well, we tried. Two losses in a row. Alright, oh, tried to bring you a win, guys. Couldn't do it. Took us too long to get that down. Mm. Don't know what we do there. I mean, you can't bring an army to counter this, because if he doesn't bring this shitty region army, then we, we won't be able to beat him. Hmm. Oh, well. All right, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video anyway, even though we did have a couple of losses. Hopefully you've learned something. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.